Hello there, this is Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Today we're on board of Oceanus 51.1 in Harbor Town. We're out with the crew from Denison Yachting. We're gonna take this boat out and put it through its paces. This boat's actually a 2019 model and it's on sale as part of the uh, Beneteau Summer Sales Program. A few things that I really love about this boat is it has hard chines on the side that greatly increases the uh, interior volume of the boat. A couple things about this boat specifically and why we want to feature it today is it's extremely highly optioned. It has a self-tacking jib system here. It's got full radar and electronic systems. The boat has on the aft a swim platform that lowers down like you see in a lot of power boats. And it has the plancer grill in the back. We're gonna kick things off up here on the bow. You'll notice immediately we've got the extended bowsprit that's designed for a code zero sail. Immediately behind that, you'll notice the roller furling system. So we get the anchor aligned properly, this road has a bump system built into it. You'll notice the rugged Lumar system here as the windlass, as well as we've got our uh, locker for our chain and road. Over here, you're gonna notice the uh, cleats that fold down so we eliminate uh, any tripping hazards. The final feature on the bow is this deep storage locker that we've got here. You'll notice that we've got integrated ladders and a ton of room for fenders and sails to be stored down here, as well as supplies. Here's our main sail, and you'll notice a large boom here. All the lines obviously are run through the coach top combing, so you don't have to leave the cockpit to adjust any of the lines. One thing that I really like about this area is you have plenty of room to clearly walk through here and you've got no obstructions. A lot of boats, this hard point will be on the outside and you got to jump around. This, we've got an easy way to walk right through. Up here on the coach top, we've got flush mount hatches. These easily open up to give you plenty of ventilation for the interior of the boat. Just above the gooseneck, you're going to notice we've got the in-mass furling system. Over the last couple of years, these systems have become extremely easy to use. Part of what makes this so easy is all your control lines and sheets are run back here, and we get a nice tight wrap on that sail when it's pulled back into the main. Continuing aft, you're gonna see this nice molded arch. What makes this extremely nice is, as the boom travels back and forth when you tack, it goes over the arch and you have one adjustment point. This eliminates any hazard of someone getting hit by the boom as we tack back and forth. Normally in this area, you'd notice the full Dodger and Bimini system that gives you plenty of sun protection here in the main cockpit. Currently, we've got that stowed away as we're preparing for a tropical storm in Florida. The boat's set up for single-handed sailing and has four self-tailing power winches. Additionally, this boat is equipped with a bow thruster. Moving back to the main cockpit, there are two different aspects of this area. One is a functional area to sail the boat, and the other is a relaxing area to enjoy time with your friends and family. You'll note this is a dual helm boat, and we have twin helm stations, with B&G electronics at each, including full radar. The starboard station is the primary. Here we find the autopilot controls and the throttle. Onto the enjoyment and relaxing functionality of the cockpit area, you'll note we have a teak table that lifts up. Within this teak table, you'll find we have additional storage and a cold plate for beverages. One of the nice features on this boat is the entire aft lowers down to form a teak beach. This boat is optioned with a plancha. A plancha is a grill that folds backwards and opens up when the platform is extended in the aft. There's L-shaped seating against the combing in both sides of the cockpit. Wrapping up in the cockpit, follow me down the companionway into the main salon.
Underneath these steps, we find the 100 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine. This boat is optioned with a straight shaft and the motor can be accessed on all three sides. In the aft, we find two matching staterooms. The only difference between these is the starboard one has direct access to the day head. And both staterooms have plenty of area for your personal items. Stepping out either of these cabins, we come into the main salon. On the port side aft, we have a galley. To the aft, there's a large pantry. Underneath that, we find a wine cooler. In the corner of the prep surface, note this hatch that lifts up to expose top-loading cold storage. Underneath the counter in the center, we find a full-size refrigerator also. There's a gimbaled oven and stove so you can cook while you're underway. Finally, there's a two-basin sink with counter covers. Port side forward, we find the nav station with a lounge area. One of the features that we love about this boat is the touchpad where we can control all the ship's systems, including the shore power and generator. Across the galley from the nav station, you're gonna find our U-shaped dinette. On the starboard side, above the U-shaped seating, you'll notice that we have plenty of storage. One of the features that we love about this boat is we have ample light and storage throughout. A great example of this is the integrated wine storage right next to the U-shaped seating. As we look up above, you'll notice that we've got ample lighting and plenty of skylights here. This boat has a bright and airy feeling that's complemented by its large volume. Moving forward, we find the master. A couple of items about the master that I really love is how you can step up to the island berth. Both on the port and starboard, we find large hanging lockers. Forward of that, we find triple storage compartments. The seating area on starboard and port is a great place to relax and enjoy the air conditioning and integrated fans in this area. When it's time to go to bed, you'll notice you have storage for your electronic devices, as well as an outlet and USB chargers. On either side, there are large port holes with a sliding shade. On the port side, we have a head and sink basin. On the starboard side, we have a huge enclosed shower. Overhead, there are two additional skylights. We have integrated shades, or these can be opened up for fresh air. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Denison Yachting, thanks for checking out the Oceanus 51.1. If you've got any specific questions about our summer sales program or this boat and how it's optioned, please feel free to contact me directly.